Understanding the connection between light and time can be challenging. When photons move at the speed of light, Einstein's equations no longer apply, and clocks stop while the universe is compressed to zero size. Mathematical boundaries help us comprehend the behavior of light in these extreme conditions. Einstein's theory of special relativity predicts some crazy phenomena. None more non-intuitive than the idea that moving clocks tick more slowly than stationary ones. As clocks approach the speed of light, they tick ever more slowly, getting closer and closer to not ticking at all. This raises an interesting question. Since fast-moving objects experience time more slowly and the speed of light is the ultimate speed limit, does light experience time? The idea that light doesn't experience time seems kind of silly. After all, we see light pass from the sun to the earth. We can even time how long it takes. About eight minutes. So, it seems rather obvious that light experiences time. But that's the time we experience. What does light experience? Physics is an experimental science, and the definitive way to answer questions is to do experiments. We could design an experiment in which a clock is attached to a photon. Einstein's time-related equations apply for objects traveling with zero speed up to, but not including, the speed of light. At the exact speed of light, they break down. Thus those equations don't apply for light itself, only for objects traveling slower than light. If we can't do an experiment and our equations don't apply for the speed of light, are we stuck? Well, to a degree, yes. What happens if you take an object with mass and move it faster and faster? How does that object experience time? Scientists have been doing this experiment for decades. We can take subatomic particles and accelerate them to very high speeds. Speeds vary near the speed of light. Furthermore, these particles have their own clock. We can use these tiny clocks to examine what happens as we get them to go faster and faster.